Hey y'all, listen, I know it's been a mo since me and Nathaniel stepped on the mic and put it on wax, but we have a very good explanation. We were kidnapped. Yes, Joe Rogan. Like if a girl's got a big butt, she's right. got some legs like, damn, this bitch is deadlifting. Yes. You know, like that's yes. hot. Nag me and Nathaniel here. Say hi, Dan. Uh, this is future me talking to past me. If, uh, if, uh, if future me tries to contact you in the future, uh, don't listen. He's, he's lying. Don't listen to him. All right, uh, this is future, future you, or future me. Weird. To be his maids for the holiday season, and in return he was going to put us on his show. We were kidnapped, so there was no negotiation, and he just dropped us off now. So here's an episode we recorded on November 9th. Put it in the vault, never got it out, almost two months old. And we will be back with fresh stuff, fresh baked muffins soon. So until then, enjoy. Welcome to These Are My Friends. These are my friends. And you're back. And, and we love that. We had a great episode today. We did. We had a fun one. It was yeah. nice chatting with D today. There was some cringing too. I was we we read some every time we adventure out into the internet and you don't like pre proofread ahead to what you're gonna get yourself into, you set yourself up for something dumb. We laughed. So uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was it was yeah. And what I'm saying is very brief. The rest of the show is really dope. We started off with Do you know the lyrics? Uh, and then the next thing we went into was some creepy, cool short stories. And then we flipped over to the Am I the A hole? Am I the a-hole? We asked the internet and we answered. Yep, we are the internet in this case. That's right. It's true. We'd like to thank all our sponsors. We'd like to thank all of our parents. We'd like to thank um, Gad for his holy lemons. That's right. And all the grandparents who are listening, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for listening to us and apologies for anything that wasn't very classy. And uh, Bobby. Hello. Bobby, thank you so much. Bobby Jill. Bobby Pill. Bobby Pill. Bobby, Bobby Pill. Pill. <laughs> That's uh, a nice name. Yeah, Bobby Pill. Ah! You know why it's okay? Because... <laughs> these are my friends. Do things. Yep. Yep. These are my friends. These, these are, are my friends. friends. These are my friends. These, these are my friends. friends. These are my friends. These are my friends. Family. 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 Oh. We're family. Got really close. <laughs> we we're too close to the microphone. Let's back it up a little. Back it. <laughs> Chill out. Get out of people's ears a little bit there. Backing up truck sound effect. Beep. 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 Perfect. Okay, I don't horrible. have to do it in post. <laughs> All right. Now they'll turn this off. <laughs> it's okay. It's cla- clapper. Clapper. Let's get serious. That's right. Time okay. for a huddle. Clap. Let's get serious here. Okay, do you want to start or do I start? You go right ahead. Okay, so I got I got two things. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll me, you, me. Let's do it. Holy crap! He's fucking flying in there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, so I have a little. A boat. I have a little game that I want to start off with. What the word game? It's a trivia test kind of thing, okay. and it's not a question of your like intelligence or knowing on music it's more of a sociological experiment to see how drilled in your brain these songs are hmm. so basically what it is it's fucking wayne brady do you know the lyrics or whatever that show was <laughs> okay okay but wayne brady do you know the lyrics yeah that's the game <laughs> line. Yeah. it's wayne brady <laughs> remember remember watching wayne brady anyway yeah he's he's the football player right no, he's uh, he's, he's one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Yeah. Fuck, I love that guy. That football player. Um, it's uh, I think I thought he was the host of that show. Do you remember that show? It was on cable access. Actually, he probably did host a show after. I think he did host a show. I just think of him only as being on Who's. Life. Oh yeah, he's the he's awesome. And then he's yeah, also um, anyway. uh, does a game show. Uh, no deal. Nope, that was Howie Mandel. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't matter. It's just a game show called No Deal where people just get turned down. Yeah, they just don't win anything. Nope. <laughs> nope. But, Million dollars for this Kleenex. Oh, nope. Not doing Wayne. it. Wayne. Wow, yeah. he turned him down. Yeah. No deal. Yeah. Do you know the lyrics or whatever? There was a game show called that. Oh, I got you. I get it. I yeah. get it. I see where we're going. It. Yeah. I see where we're going with this. I can't believe you never watched that show, though. I was like, no, I, I, I don't think I watched it. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. Anyways. I better so, things to do. Yeah. I was yeah, probably doing fuck yeah, in the yeah. dojo. loser not watching Wayne Brady shows at eight o'clock yeah, at night. Yeah. probably doing laps with weights <laughs> on my shoulders. Anyway. <laughs> so we were listening. I was just at work today and had obviously kind of like a generic 80s, 90s, whatever, like the most classic 80s music that you would, everybody knows, everybody hears. I just pictured Cindy Lauper. Yeah, yeah, probably. Awesome. And it's, and you've worked retail. You've listen to Jack FM, which was the eighties rock station that had all the generic stuff. And I just want to like, see, like, I'm just going to say the lyrics and you have to finish the lyrics. Obviously this is going to go horribly because I and have I, this thing. I'll tell you right now. I have this thing where I don't really, I've never really, 
this is so messed up because I have loved rap lyrics and I used to decipher them all the time. Ah, I'm yeah. Such a lyrics guy. But with rock <laughs> music, I just basically tune out what they're saying. And it's White like, noise. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll hear the last word. Be like, Photograph. Yeah, yeah, city. <laughs> like, uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know what the hell I'm hearing. Ever, oh, but yeah, you'll okay, have to do well, the tuner. I will have no idea what you're saying. So, so like, I'm not going to get any of these. So like, you're probably the perfect subject then for this no, experiment because no, all wrong. if you're Cause like I like the eighties and stuff like that. And I probably like genuinely unironically listen to like half the songs mm -hmm. outside of, you know, walking around a grocery store. Yeah, you definitely. probably never do. Oh no, uh, I'm not going to put that shit on. Exactly. So like to see if any of these are imprinted in your head, nothing against like would be a work. perfect subject. And I'll, yeah. you know, like whatever, but turning just, that back on, it's like, wait, I didn't have enough Cindy yeah. Lauper at work. Let's put that on again. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, but okay. But Cindy Lauper, though, is She's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, you know? I, I, I can get down. I have down. nothing against these songs. It's not yeah. like I'm oh, against no, it. I just listen to other shit. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, so the first one. Oh, no, wait. This is going to be the first one. It's going to be super easy just to get the feel. Just to see if you fucking, you know what up, all right? Oh, God. So, the, so this is it. You might think I'm crazy. And, oh, and I'll do the cadence, too, to give you, like, a, obviously, because if I just read it out, that's a lot harder. But I'll give you the cadence of, like, how the song is, because then that'll obviously trigger it, too. Um, you might think I'm crazy, but I don't even care, because all I can tell what's going on, it's hip to be a square. <laughs> that is wrong. It's, it's just square. square. <laughs> Not a square. <laughs> what? Wait. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. Okay. But this is the... This is the Sesame Street version. Uh, Do you remember the Sesame Street version of that song? Not like at all. Huey Lewis in the news. Like, I think it was Huey Lewis. That was the, the bonus news, point. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It was a bonus point. Yeah. Right. So there's a segment on Sesame Street, and it's such like a triangle and a circle and a square, and they're like going down slides and like doing stuff. And I'm pretty sure that it's cartoon superimposed onto like real. Uh, footage right and it's like that song but it's switched and it's like the square is singing it's hip to be a square oh what right oh so, fuck okay yo, 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 right, yeah so you fucking double down triple you, bonus ooh, points yeah you get triple thousand bonus points triple thousand <laughs> bonus points. that's correct starting good you fucking uno okay. reverse me there all right, yeah all right, all right, okay good go. okay so that was just a f to feel it out okay that's the only one i'm gonna get right though those soft and fuzzy sweaters, too magical to touch. To see her in that negligee is really just too much. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the... Centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. Bye. Oh. <laughs> no, no triple thousands on this one. Those dudes. <laughs> they really sing that song like this. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Jay's, Jay Giles. Jay Giles. I fucking have no idea what you're talking about. Awesome. What did you even say? <laughs> Jay gals? It's the Jay gals. The jiggles. The Jay gals. <laughs> the fucking jiggles. Yeah, you've yeah, never heard jiggles. of the jiggles? No. <laughs> I haven't. I don't listen to your clown bands. <laughs> Freaking clown bands from the 80s. The jiggles. <laughs> the jiggles. All right. <laughs> well, at least I know the song. See, J. It's not like I J? ever. I never Shazam that one it, while I'm guiles. in the store. Yeah. It's never, that's all on your list. Okay, oh, fair Jake, enough. Jake um, okay, this one's gonna be a little harder. And now you found a break to make it last. You have to find a way. Say what you want to say. Blank. I probably fucked the cadence <laughs> of that up. <laughs> what do you? It's beautiful. I just <laughs> mesmer mesmerized by your beautiful song. I <laughs> yeah, again, I singing like Caillou with, with his balls chopped off. Say what you want to say. And now I feel you like found I know. a way. I know this. I know the to lyrics. Make it last. Anybody at home, if you're playing along, say it out loud, and you get you get triple it's thousand like points. Our commercial. Yeah. You got to find no. a way. Say what you want to say. Blank. It's one word. What? Pizza. I don't know. Fuck, Bad dude. Guess. Yeah, that Bad was guess. that was '90s Pizza Hut commercial for sure. Mm. It was Breakout. Bye. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I know that though. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> by the uh, swing out sister. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. My other favorite artist. Breakout. Yeah. I just, I've heard that song so many times in like retail, especially. Uh, if I heard the song, I'd be like, oh, this one. Like, you have yeah, to I find bet that's a way. Breakout. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of like, yeah, that's a drugstore song. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The late night drugstore song. Definitely. Not even late night. Just you know. speaking of late night drugstore songs, I hear the secrets that you keep. You 
pickled sheep. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know. Okay, can you, uh, I hear you the secrets that you keep. Do 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 do. When you go to bed at night, do do do. Something isn't right in the spotlight. I don't think those are the actual words. I can't remember. I just have oh. to. Yeah. But Wait, it's, are tell you me that you one? want me. No, I'm okay. just kind of going from memory. Okay, now I know what you mean. Tell me that you need me. Though that I'm right, because I hear it in the night. I hear the secrets that you keep. Blank, 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 nope. blank. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's not going to come to me. <laughs> when you're talking in your sleep. Oh my God. Just, what is it? What? That's it. That's when it. you're when talking, talking in, in your sleep. sleep. Yeah. Okay. All right. By the romantics. What? See, Randy would have killed this. Randy yeah. Would've, Randy would have crushed this. Well, he's probably it, so furious with yeah. me. He's going to be just like trying to Bart Simpson choke me. <laughs> <laughs> Thing right now <laughs> Apparently, they're not doing that anymore. Well, we'll he'll always will have done it though. Yeah, there's it, no forgiving it, people for the past. That's right. Yeah, that he did choke his son. Yes, yeah. <laughs> a, lot, uh, a lot of times we laughed. Okay, this is a bit of a long one. I have two more. Uh, sucking on chili dogs outside the tasty freeze. Diane sitting on Jack's lap, got his hands between her knees. Jack says, hey, Diane, let's run off behind a shady tree. Dribble off those Bobby Brooks, let me do what I please. Saying, oh, yeah, life goes on. Blank. Dude, yeah, like Boomhauer, that. yeah. That's what it is. So, next, what's the next one? That's what it is. So, what's the next one? Oh yeah, the left goes. So that's actually like reading those lyrics is kind of gross. I know, man. Dude, Jack's kind of a little bit of a perv. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. She's a down though. Yeah. Cougar Melon Camp. Down. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Oh, you took She's my down. point away. Yeah, my Cougar Melon Camp bonus point that I was totally about to get. Oh fuck! I was really about to get that. Oh yeah, right yeah. Now. Shit. Okay, you get it. You just get about it. to say. Long after the thrill JCM. of living is gone. I mean, I what always. Is it JQM? Is it Cougar with a Q? Anyway, actually, you cut Cougar out of this one. It's just John Mellencamp. Oh, that's a different man. Yeah, totally different. Totally it's different his brother. Man. Yeah. Before he um, reinvented himself. But I always like, oh man, you know those like memes that like are like an inspo memes that have sayings? I think this is one of the best ones. Oh. That life goes on long after the thrill of living is gone. That should just be an uh, inspo meme. Is it inspirational or does that just mean you'll become dead inside and have to live the rest of your life without? It's relatable. Yeah, feeling alive. Long after the thrill. D- relatable things are very seldom inspirational. Yeah, I guess it's not inspo. That's the wrong word. Yeah. It's just a fact. Yeah. Yeah. But like he's talking about being a kid, uh, trying to grope a girl, which is kind of weird. I didn't realize that's exactly what was going on. Um, and now he's just like, yeah, I've done it all. I've ate chili dogs outside the Tasty Freeze and groped girls. And now the thrill of living is gone. Anyways, Ripping them girls between their knees. Yeah. And slurping back a chili dog. Yeah. What a What's gross bastard. Li- yeah. <laughs> what, else, what else is life about? What the fuck? Uncultured swine, Jack. Yeah. yeah. What the oh hell, gosh. man? Gosh. Well, you know. Uh, at least life goes on. Anyway. Okay. And the last one is. But you say no, then you go, and I break down. I'm still a lonely man. Blank, 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 blank. <laughs> I. F- Fucked up the cadence of that one too. <clears throat> this is this is the uh, required CanCon. So this is a Canadian band. <clears throat> uh, oh, but you say no, then you go, and I break down. Dun, 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 dun. I am still a lonely man. Blank, 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 blank. I am still. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I apologize to everybody who's. Had f- I didn't realize I'd be singing this much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I apologize to everybody. Say, I think you just wanted to sing a bunch of little ladies. Yeah, yeah. For us. You could turn it to I music and that. not just listen to. Yeah. <laughs> what is that song? Near, 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 near. You know the song, obviously. Oh wait. Oh. A lonely man. This is killing me because I know what it is, but it's. I don't know. Is it like Gowan or something? Or who is oh, I mean, that's a good guess. Who the hell is that? It's the Sticks? Uh, less good of a guess, but. Who is it? Honeymoon Sweet. Oh, okay. Well, what song is. What is the lyrics right after that? I'm still a lonely man and burning in love. I am still. Yeah. Okay. I know that song, but I really. Again, I don't pay attention to anything. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I really just sort of listen, like, oh, yeah, this one's the tune. So you know them, but, yeah, you don't. I was just trying to, so basically I was just trying to see if, like, 
if those things would just like, you'd be like, how the fuck do I know that? Well, even with, without like, it's definitely the tunes. Like I would recognize all of the tunes. Oh yeah. Of listening course. to the Q and Jack and all that stuff in my parents' vehicles and whatever, since I was little. Right. So right. all those. Yeah. And in the early Napster days when my parents were like, Oh my God, you could have anything. So they're thinking about every single honeymoon tweet. song. Yeah. Right. And so they would have thought of those, like all that stuff from the eighties and we had burnt CDs of seventies, eighties, nineties. My dad literally had a catalog of burnt CDs. Yeah. Like every band he spent years yeah. cataloging and he had them all on burnt CDs. Yeah. And I was just like, too. wow. Yeah. Well, I'm no kidding. If you spend all your life, like you, the only way you're going to hear music is on the radio if you happen to turn the radio on and catch the song you happen to want to hear so you'd be like oh shit like you get so excited like you won something almost by finally you happen to tune in at the right time and actually hear acdc right yeah now. yeah or you know and, and acdc's new it's like what is this it's thunderstruck they yeah. never you know or you shook me all night long i'm going time. home and banging my wife i'm <laughs> stoked <laughs> to, to whatever happens to be on the radio because i can't choose and then <laughs> and then uh you know, but then you get it on vinyl. Your friend gets it like, oh, got Stairway to Heaven on vinyl. We're going to go listen to it. Let's go. You know, they're yeah. going to go listen to it. And then they're going to think about having listened to it because they can't even listen to it at home. It's not like you can just wear it out. You can't wear out any song like that. You can't get yeah. sick of shit. No wonder all these guys still listen to the same 200 songs on repeat every day at the queue because it's like a novelty to them. They're like, feel like that's like a, Back in the a day, privilege yeah. to be able to hear these songs again. You know, I don't know what it is. It's just the way you grow up, I guess. Just, yeah. It Maybe wasn't like, easy back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back it, in my day. You could argue it's too easy today and people yeah. just like throw on a song once, hear it, go, I've heard that now. And they move on to the next thing. That's and that's why singles are popping yeah. and albums are fucking stopping. It you know? t- <laughs> it's hey, true try to tell that to the metal scene they yeah. definitely don't think so so no but, it's it shouldn't be that way but no, that's, I, yeah. I prefer albums too me too 100 percent. like a, a solid all killer no filler start to back when well it just yeah. makes people less inspired to make a great album mm-hmm, they want to make a couple good songs because they'll make the same amount of money than if they made a couple good so they'll put yeah. three cool songs on it and have a bunch of filler and then they're just like yeah here we go yeah they take it give me money please i like, I like the idea i and I, I, not everybody shares this opinion, but I like the, I don't know. It's tough for a metal band. I really like the idea of getting it all done and then sort of packaging it all together and showing here's the album. There you go. With, with hip hop, I find a lot of singles sort of work better because every beat is so different all the time. It's harder to get an album to sound right. synced anyway. So you're kind of what, what a uh, local artist local i guess i don't know if he's victoria i think he's vancouver but it, you know, my name is junk i think i've mentioned before yep. junk uh he does like i think i said even mentioned this before i'm gonna repeat myself but he puts like his singles out constantly through spotify or whatever and then he's like this is my album i'll probably change the name of the album later or whatever and it'll it stays as this like working project that everybody can see him working on it's not like he's putting out a half finished song right putting out the full song but he's like here's this song here's the next song here's the one i did with so and so here's the next one and oh look we've got eight or ten songs or maybe it's 15 songs now i'm gonna put this all as a collection called this album and you guys can buy it or whatever or yeah. find it. But meanwhile, <clears throat> all those things, instead of waiting Geocache around, cash it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Right. Find it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but instead of like, that's a dope way to release an album. Just find them, hide everything. It's already like, hidden. Yeah. It's hard enough to find my fucking shit, dude. Double down. Don't dude. worry. Yeah. Algorithms are burying it just fine without me going and hiding it somewhere in somebody's hedge. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so the way I think of it though is that he's not waiting around. People can hear his new song while it's new, and he's right. ex- he's still excited about it. Rather than going, yeah, that's that song I made two years ago. You can finally hear it all at once, and everybody going, oh, there's 20 songs to pay attention to. I like this one and this one and this one. But meanwhile, the, another billion songs just came out, so people don't have time to listen to your whole album. They want to listen to something else now, something yeah. else now. So meanwhile, those singles were actually working for him even before he released his whole project. He's not waiting around. With stuff no, that's fair. That's bank. fair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't sense. know. Yeah. It's different. <clears throat> he's a more of a mover shaker. He's constantly working. He's doing shows. He's doing another song. Yeah. He's doing a collaboration. So hip hop is weird compared to traditional ro- rock and roll or yeah. metal where you're like <clears throat> refining a bunch of instruments, getting the parts right, having written them right, rehearsing them, recording them, mixing them, mastering them. That's such a different project. And then once it's all done, all those songs sound very 
much a part of one another. They sound like they're all from the same album. Right. Even, you know, throughout the different albums, you can still hear which album was which. Whereas with most hip hop artists. What phase the band was in. Yeah. You, yeah you're not going to know what phase Junk was in unless you're following him his whole way. It looks like right. a, a string of 100 singles potentially. But, you know, not to say they don't curate those singles together to be an album that is synced. It's just yeah. a lot different approach. Right. Cool. Anyway. But, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ramble rant. No, that's 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 a good insight. Uh, you have some fun stories for us? I did, but I just talked so much, though. But that's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> How dare you stories. talk on this podcast? I know. Here's me again, <laughs> talking. Um, that's what they signed up for. But, uh, yeah, I had some, some uh, spooky stories. Oh, I had a list as well, but we'll do that after. I was just going to look at... I just like these these things that I just randomly think of. I'm like, why don't I know this? But like, what are the top 10 wealthiest countries in the world? I'm like, well, I know the top one is the US or whatever, right? We, we uh, all know that. Oh, well, uh, sure. <laughs> okay, well, we should know that. But other than not that... China? <laughs> not yet, it isn't. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> the day right. is not over yet. But uh, anyway, so for now, um, speaking of horror stories... Yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, I'm going to do just the top 15 because they're very short. They're like really quick cool. um, bite-sized ones. So this is, I'm going to go backwards through them because I liked the first one a lot. I've looked at the words. So if, here's number 15. It's been 315 days since the outbreak, 187 days since I realized I might be the only survivor, and three days since the two of us found each other in the wreckage of the world and made me feel like everything was going to be okay again. Hmm. Weird. After so long alone, I almost forgot that the first sign of infection is hallucinating imaginary people. Okay, well, that one kind of sucked. This is a bad one to start off. Let's try again. Let's move on. So, so wait, so this is 15 super short stories. Yeah, they're that quick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one was even quicker, but yeah. This one I actually really didn't like, and I'm going to say, but I'll let you decide. <laughs> that is a two out of ten. I'll let you decide, yeah. I'm still going to read it anyway. In 2026, the Messiah descended on Earth. She performed miracles and cured the sick. There was no doubt about her authenticity. Everyone believed her. Everyone revered her. Following this historical historical moment, instead of historic moment, known as the Age of Peace, everything suddenly changed. She, she warned us there were only a few spots left in heaven for the dead. That was natural. No one had gone to hell during this age. People started to go hysteric. That's a bad sentence. That is horribly written. Everyone wanted a place in heaven. That's when mass suicide started, Dash. The Messiah had assured us that taking your own life is not a sin if you died a devout man. It was literally a race to get before everyone else. She was left on her own as humanity perished at their own hands. Grinning, she returned to her throne of fire and flames and greeted her people with a nod of her demonic horns. And then someone's comment, that's the devil for you, but where is God? <laughs> God, the humanity. Dude, oh my God, dude. So, and it, Jesus. The, so it's, uh, basically, it's so it was a trick. Funny. Oh my God. Yeah, nice, uh, nice. I don't, I don't want to pick on people, but that was just so horrible from a hundred different ways. So are these I written by this. like prestigious people or is this written by like some kid? Well, that was with, Stephen King. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like it now, actually. It, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It wasn't Stephen King. Yeah. Okay, then I hate it now. Yeah, yeah. definitely some rando on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, okay. I meant believe in Jing. Yeah. yeah, it was believe in Jing. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Maybe you should. Anyway, so how about 13? That's a nice name, by the way. Believe in. Believe in. <laughs> Just came to me. Yeah. Anyway. Name my son that. Ah, so, number 13. Every night, my brother and I used to knock on the wall separating our bedrooms. After I came back from his funeral, I could still hear the knocking. Me and my... Okay, that's depressing as fuck. Me and my yeah. brother actually used to do Somebody that. Said, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we had a bedroom that was... Or, like cute. our beds were on either side of a wall and we'd knock oh. and then try and be like the last one to knock. So we'd like be like do, super do, tiny, do, like, do. but like super quiet. And then like... See if there's one little tap. Of who's the last it? one? To, you know, like that thing that you do in like the last one to yell or something like that. Like if test. you tap twice, you lose. Like, like well, no, you, it just... No, like the last one to tap wins. Right. So, but if, what, if you like, what if you tap less and then 
tap again. And then you hear like, like a, so you, you would. But what do if you didn't hear it and you tapped again, you lose, right? Like the, you don't want to be like. I mean, ki- kind of. Yeah. So you guys would I, each tap like 17 we like more six. times and you <laughs> can't actually hear each other. Probably. You'll never know who won. But we, we like do it super <laughs> quiet. So then we think we won, but then. You never know who won. Like, oh, I did it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 It's uh, you're fucking That's crazy. Yeah. Really funny. man. Yeah. Uh, both kids just trying to see if they won. Who's like, the last like, one to knock? Huh, like, and then, I didn't hear it. Must be me. And then I, but like sometimes I wait five minutes and be like getting ready. Like, like. Almost, you know, drifting off and then hear a, just hear a, doof. and then I'd be like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It was just fucking, yeah. That is hilarious. I don't know if you know, but I have two, uh, I have twin cousins as well. Oh yeah. I yeah. Yeah. A pair of twins. Yeah. And, uh, so they always, it's funny cause they always wanted to have one wanted red things and one wanted blue things. Me and my brother. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought you both went as the red power ranger. We both like red out the gates, but mm. then I was a red boy and Tyler was, uh, I was blood and he was Crips. Oh, yeah. okay. That's <laughs> then what it switched. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wonder how many twins are in the bloods and Crips. Yeah. It's like, I think both? it just, it's like something in the chromosomes, man. They like, they, I let them be honorary members of both because they're like, ah, no, but his brother, he always did the blue thing. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. You know. he, he just chose that life. Yeah. Didn't choose, <laughs> choose him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. What's the next anyway, one? Yeah. The co- first comment on that one says, I find it a little heartwarming that the brother is still there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's one that's way to look creepy. at it, I guess. It's just, you're like, no, no, that's, that's terrifying. No. Yeah. <laughs> Quit haunting me. Yeah. Bastard. You all knock last. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> He's got yeah. nothing better to do. He's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, uh, number 12, I open the door to see a policeman who informs me that my husband died in a car crash. I turn my head to see my husband sitting at the table and eating the dinner I just served, grinning at me. That's cool. That's fun. That's creepy. <clears throat> Number 11. I don't know why I looked up, but as soon as I did, I saw a man standing against my window, forehead on the glass, still eyes, lipstick red, cartoonish smile. My wife was sleeping upstairs, our son in the crib. I couldn't move a finger, frozen as I watched him pass the glass. With his creepy smile still there, he put a hand up and slid it down the window, watching me with piercing eyes. I just stayed there, unable to move, feet still in the bushes I was pruning. Looking into my house, he stood against my window. What? Confused. I'm confused. So he was outside. Our boy who's reading it was actually looking at this man and the man's inside his house. Oh. Oh, oh they flipped the script at the end. Yeah. You think that it's he's inside looking right. at a man outside looking in, but it's actually- He's pruning hedges outside. So it's probably a daytime though, so that's less scary. Well, I don't know. Is it? I mean, there's still a weird guy with red lips in your house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. tell you right now, that fucking head clown. Cl- those hedge clippers are going right through that window. Yeah, right, going right through that Bozo's head. Fucking yeah. lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in his big dumb red lips. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, anyway. creepy, creepy. Good. Yeah. Okay, these are getting good. Okay, okay. We got uh, number ten. Last night, I was rushed out of the house by a friend to catch the opening act at a local bar's music night. A few drinks later, I had realized I lost my phone. I checked everywhere, even the restrooms. Nothing. I ended up using my friend's phone to call mine. The phone rang twice. Someone picked up, giggled with a low and raspy voice, and hung up. I tried again, but nobody responded anymore. In the end, I gave up and headed home. I found my phone on the nightstand right where I'd left it. So they texted from his room. No, he giggled, remember? He was like, huh, 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 with like a creepy voice and then hung up. Oh. There's no text. So he like. Oh, so the person was in his room. A raspy, creepy giggle on the phone, right? So That's the person fucked. was in their room. Okay, uh, we're going to go to a sponsor. Who's our sponsor? Oh, oh my God. Uh, we got those guys with the, the canned steak. The canned steak guys. Canned steak. Yeah. Uh, and what was the company again? Barnumman. Barnumman's canned steak. Barnumman, uh, Barnumman and Levi's. Canned steak. Yeah. Barnum and Levi's can stick. Okay, we appreciate you, these guys Barnum for for sponsoring. These are my friends. Episode fifteen. B&L. And uh, yeah, here's the ad. B and L's can stick. B and L's can bare naked ladies. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just what they want you to think. That's why they took that. B and L, yeah, it's of the fame. Uh, Barnum and Levi's. No, Barnum and Barnum and Levi's can stick. Right, yes. right. Yes, Barnum and Levi's can stick. Okay, here we There's go to the no ad. Way they're going to pay us the full price for this. No, oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Yeah. Do you like steak? But cannot wait. 
Ooh, then Barnum and Levi will cook. Ooh, splat it on the plate. Ooh, for your first date. Ooh, and give us a high five. From Afghanistan to Africa, this is the well done steak that is bloody going in and out. Just crack a can and stand back. You're gonna be in the splash zone. Barnum and Levi's can steak is the kick. Barnum and Levi's is the steak that lasts as long as a Twinkie and is loaded with vitamin G. As in, gee, that's sustenance. Enjoyed by many's around the world. Half a fat guy and half a big guy can't be wrong. Illegal in Hawaii and all Northwest Territories. Well, that made me hungry. That would good, go good with God's holy lemons, probably like a nice <laughs> slice of lemonade. Damn, God holy, yeah. God's holy lemons. God's holy lemon. They're probably under a, a umbrella company. They're Fuck probably it. all owned by Coke or something. Barnum's and or Levi's. Barnum. Why do I keep, what am I thinking of? The You're circus? shortening his name because we're so friendly with Barnum. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know him on a basis like that, that I can go Barnum. Yeah, but yeah. Barnum's. Bar- no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to okay. call him. B and L's fucking I, I, canned steak. They'll understand. Yeah, they'll understand. Yeah, so I've this never Dutch had, guy I've had, trying to sell canned steak. I can't pronounce his damn name. Yeah. I've never had such a good canned steak. They have <laughs> just to let you guys understand. Just so you know, they've got the uh, they've got the blue steak in a can. Uh, they've got the rare steak in a can. They've got Bloody. medium rare. I don't know that there's. I think they're working on like a, a medium well, but they've got a well done as well. Um, a well done as well. A well done steak. Mm, all in, in a can? all in a can. Just Pop a can. There you go. Can steak. And it Re- has, anywhere you want to go. It has uh, a CO2 in it, apparently, because yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. that sound. Psst. It's not up to me to know. <laughs> I think it's to do with the fermentation process. Oh, right, right. Yeah, it keeps it fresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's in my bomb shelter for sure. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I, I, that's all I'm eating in the apocalypse. In the apocalypse, I'm eating fucking Dude, like Barnum a, and Levi's canned steak. Like a sure. king. Yeah, like a king. You're going to eat spam and like a peasant. Steak. Yeah. Like a king. Yeah. That's what they're, that's their catchphrase. Like a king. Yeah. There we go. Okay, thanks for the sponsor. Um, okay, we're going to go back into the freaky school oh, yeah, stories. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Friend of a friend of mine had some freaky stories. Salivating from thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so I could eat, I could go for that right now. I'm pretty hungry. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so we have uh do, 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 why did I it zoomed down quite a bit. Is that I didn't the story? mean to zoom down. Whoops. Number nine. Okay. My four-year-old said he wished people didn't have to knock to get in a house. I told him about doorbells, and he asked me if we could install one on his window. Uh. Uh. Uh, yeah, insert Tim <laughs> Allen's. Uh, yeah, that's gross. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why. I don't know why he wants people to come in the window, but anyway. Fucking weird kid. Stupid weird kid. Okay, how about number eight? I like this. A daughter was in her room, busy with homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay, AI. I, I am we a daughter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was a daughter once. Yeah. Doing anyway. people work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, a daughter was in her room, busy with homework. When she heard her mother call her name, dinner was ready. She jumped onto her feet and <laughs> jumped onto her feet and began <laughs> making her way downstairs when suddenly a pair of hands grabbed her and pulled her into the laundry room beside the staircase. She panicked before realizing it was her mother, unusually weepy with bloodshot eyes. Don't go down there, honey. I heard it too. That's fucked quite scary yeah that is oh i don't like that that's quite scary yeah these are good these are good all right number seven it's so dark here i can't even move breathe speak or hear anything if only i knew it would be this lonely i would have asked to be cremated instead oh fuck yeesh it's pretty much my worst fear of all time being buried alive yeah yeah yeah, unless they're not even alive, they're just in there dead, which is even more hor- horrible. This means there's oh, no yeah. escape at all. Oh, that's like fucking existential. Did you know Extra that? Sen- extristential? Yeah, that is existential, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, moly. Fuck. We've gone into hyperextential yeah. at this point. <laughs> Imagine that like, if you die and don't I get- don't want to imagine that. That's probably in the worst. In a box for eternity? Nope. nope. That's it's the worst thought fucked. that you could think, in my opinion. It's one of the very worst thoughts there is. Yeah. So, number six. 
Mommy has the habit of going out every Saturday night. So daddy and I always, you know what? I actually really hate this one and I'm not going to read it. I'm sorry to. Oh God, no, man. You just blue balled uh, the audience. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'll read it. Should we save it for a different podcast? It's just a, it's no, it's not good. It's just cheating. No, it's. I'll let you, I'll just read it. Okay. A, a bit of a trigger warning is all I'll say. Okay. Trigger warning. For people who have lost people to the unnameable self thing. Ah. Okay. That's all I'm saying. But number six, mommy has the habit of going out every Saturday night. So daddy and I always go get ice cream together after dinner. Just the two of us. Around dinner time, I go to the kitchen to see what daddy is cooking, but he's not there. I saw a note on the counter that said mommy and uncle James were going somewhere together. I'm not sure I don't read that well. I find daddy in the garage. I shut the door behind me like I'm supposed to. Daddy is in the front seat, the car engine ready, tur- already turned on. It seems like we won't be having dinner tonight, only ice cream. I get in the back seat behind him since I'm not a big boy yet. Daddy doesn't answer me when I say hello to him. Maybe he can't hear me over how loud the car is. I think I'll take a nap on the way to the ice cream shop. I feel kind of sleepy. And you can tell why I hate this one. That's fucked. It's just horrible. It's nothing but a horrible scene and it's not like clever or creepy or anything. It's just <laughs> tragic and horrific. And- so like the shitty mom's going out with a new guy the, the uncle or whatever and like, then it, the, the dad mom's cheating is, and so the dad <laughs> himself and then accidentally kills the kid with him which is horrendous that's fucked. that's so fucked it's okay yeah, we're gonna have to a nasty some of that story out. i just oh, i think man. we just oh because he doesn't know because the so the kid's like oh i'm gonna sit in the back and it, but dad can't hear me because the car so that is fucked uh, okay yeah it's I just horrible i feel you man i feel you that honestly was, i would just like just can dark just take it right out almost but like, that's just somebody who is just like yeah how can i make people fucking is just, cringe in their skin what's the most disturbing story you know like yes it's disturbing but i don't like it at all i don't think it's a good story at jesus all. yeah I okay I, I feel you man i feel you yeah yeah <clears throat> anyway whatever sorry for breeding it everybody <laughs> so here's number five when i smiled in her direction she didn't smile back there's really something wrong with this mirror creepy and the, what I this is ridiculous this it's a window the co- yeah <laughs> this co- idiot yeah, this co- she's like are you gonna buy a ticket or staring at it yeah. trying to fix her hair yeah <laughs> what are you doing on meth yeah. yeah um but no it, the comment is like less than three sentences and still crazy like, why don't you just say two sentences yeah <laughs> It's too. Well, that's wow. That's less bar, than three. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's, bar. <clears throat> that's got to be less than three at least. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, but less than three. I know that. Number four. We got. Every night, I relive burying my comrades from the war in my dreams. Not because of the night terrors, but for the scratches on my arms and dirt on the floor every time I wake up. Okay. Don't get it. I I think he goes and buries his comrades from the war in his dreams and he gets scratches on his arms meaning that somebody is fighting him so he's like burying people i don't know i i barely understand it it's just supposed to be it was mash know, it was the show mash that's it was, what it was mash actually was just just mash. yeah I don't, that's alan all done yeah all right number three <clears throat> I stood there watching as my future father-in-law held his precious precious daughter's hand as he walked down the aisle. Tears in his eyes as the wedding march played in the background, reminding him that in the matter of minutes he would be witnessing me hold his daughter's hand and slip a ring on her finger. He reached the altar and finally held her hand, and I fi- finally held her hand, grinning from ear to ear. I'd never been this happy before. My bride's father then got down on his knees and started begging. I did what you asked, just please give my daughter back to me. I glared at him. He was ruining this beautiful moment. Shut up. If you sit down and enjoy the wedding, maybe I'll tell you where I've hidden the rest of her body. That's fucked. Yeah, so he's literally just holding her hand. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's messed up. That's messed I thought up. I thought like it was like he was like marrying the dad. Huh? Well, maybe there's some sort of bargain to be made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Shut up, old man, and yeah. kiss me. Yeah, yeah, baby. I don't know where this is going, but okay, that's twisted. All right. Yeah. Yep. Next one. Creepy. Yeah. All right. Number two. A father went to say good night to his son, as it was routine, since he knew his son would be having trouble sleeping if he didn't. It was a sort of silent tradition between them, one he'd never forgot to attend. 
The room was dimly lit by the lamp, but the father could clearly see that there was something unusual about the kid tonight. He looked the same, just with a huge grin that drew from ear to ear. You okay, buddy? He asked. The son nodded, still grinning, before saying, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. The father chuckled and got to his knees to take a look. There, under the bed, was his son, his real son. Pale, trembling, and scared to death, he whispered, Daddy, there's someone on my bed. Uh, okay, it's, a, it's another of the old switcheroo there. Yeah, yeah. It's he another, was talking to the monster. Ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Old right. man Bilson. Yeah. <clears throat> probably, wait, what? <laughs> Scooby Doo? The child is just like an old man in a <laughs> child mask. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Bilson? <laughs> this is the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Bill said, yeah, you got me again. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. Where'd you get that mask? <laughs> of my son, you weirdo. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. Well, convincing, too. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Number one. Let's see how good number one is here, guys. So, we bought this rundown house, my boyfriend and I. Well, he started working on converting the kitchen into the main bedroom, which is a, the fucking weirdest part about the whole story. What are you doing converting the kitchen into the main bedroom? Maybe they want an oven in their bedroom? Or access to have an oven in their bedroom? See, that would be good for a creepy story if that pertained to anything at all, which it doesn't. <laughs> I just I'm, The only reason I'm stopping is because it doesn't end it doesn't, up pertaining to anything. It I'm just, just shoot, saying. I'm shooting from the hip. <laughs> it just happens to have... Yeah, it's really... I, I wouldn't have stopped if it was significant, but it's really... It's weird, yeah. He's converting the kitchen to the bedroom. So... Cool. Anyways... Started working on converting the kitchen into the main bedroom. I insisted on removing the old wallpaper. The previous owner had papered over every wall and ceiling in the house. It's a lot of work to remove, but it feels so good to get rid of it. The best feeling is getting a long peel like when your skin peels after a bad sunburn. I turned it into a game on the hunt to rip the longest piece possible. I noticed there was a person's name and date under the corner section of paper in every room. I couldn't help but investigate the Google and Googled those names. What I discovered left me speechless. The names all belonged to missing people, and their dates matched the day of their disappearance. We notified the police, who sent the crime scene team. <laughs> okay. I, crime scene team, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is your job. Get yeah. in there. I overheard one of them say, yeah, it's human. Wait, what's human? Ma'am, where's all the material you removed? This isn't wallpaper. So is the people skin? Yeah. You got it. Ding, ding, ding. Hooray. How the fuck would you not know? It's like, wow, this wallpaper is super. Was this Stevie Wonder moving into this house? <laughs> <laughs> like straight up? Like, you said, how would you? Oh, this is just flesh on he my He walks wall. in the house like, gotta get rid of this wallpaper. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> this feels weird. Yeah. I'll take the place, but we gotta get rid of this wallpaper. Uh-oh. Mr. Wonder, are you sure? Yeah, I hate it. I just don't feel right with it. Yeah. <laughs> And then he was right. It's the acoustics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all wrong in here. It all sucks it in. Yeah. So it's human skin. That's fucked. Yeah. Well, I didn't write it. Okay. So get off my back. Yeah. I like the, um, I think I like the uh, woman downstairs one the best. The creepy, the mom, mom saying one, don't go yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah. I was, it was clever to the point. Creepy. I think I've heard stuff like it before, but yeah, it's hard to make these kind of little original. I yeah. mean, there's like 50 of them here. I just didn't want to go through a billion <laughs> zillion of that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Okay, I just I just scrolled to a random one. Number 47. Okay, let's do 47 for okay. the hell of it. And I only stop here because it says, when Murloc returns home. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do we have a name in this one? Murloc? Okay, it's a good so, dog name. all right, whatever. When Murloc returns home, he finds his wife suffering from severe fits, eventually leading to her death. Destroyed by the pain and exhaustion, Murloc drifts off to sleep. From an open window in Murloc's cabin comes a loud, weeping sound that gets louder and louder. When Murloc wakes up, he feels some strange presence in the house. Something moves in the dark. Murloc takes his rifle and fires in the air. After lighting a candle, he witnessed a panther hauling his wife by the neck. When he examines his wife's dead body, Murloc notices that a tiny piece of the panther's ear is stuck between her teeth. What in the flying... What is happening? (laughs) What? (laughs) Murloc. Why? Why? His wife is eating the panther? 
The first comment is like, his wife dies and he falls asleep. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a good. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Also, I like that there's just a panther hauling his wife by the neck. He witnesses after lighting a fucking candle. He's like, hmm, better light this candle after cracking off a rifle shot. Yeah. In the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Better get a candle lit to see what I might have shot yeah. into the sky. And Jeez. then he's like, uh, uh, he, he examines her body, even though it's being dragged by a panther, which we don't care. And he notices in her teeth. The panther's ear? The panther's ear. He I can don't notice, get it. He can notice. He's like going close enough to inspect his wife's teeth. But it, there's a panther. Anyway, good job, Murloc. Yeah, that was Why fucked. did we have his name? No reason. And, uh, I still think it's a better name for a dog. Okay, so uh, we'll go to I my next segment. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. What? You don't want to hear more? <laughs> uh, Murloc okay. was was enough. That's yeah. enough. That's <clears throat> enough. The old <clears throat> nail in the coffin that you stay alive inside of, apparently. Um, have you heard of the subreddit AITA? AITA? Yeah, but I, I heard you. I'm just... Oh. AI, <laughs> what I'm trying to imagine what TA must be. Was it technological information? What is it? T A. It's M I the asshole. A I T A. Oh, okay. So AI, AI is the not asshole. artificial intelligence. In this oh, case. oh, My I bad. see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. no, no. It's M I the asshole. So it's people. So I, I haven't read them fully. I just scanned through to get some ones that I thought were going to be good. Cool. You know, I got you. I, I can tell. Go but, for it. Okay, cool. So. Number one, am I the asshole for telling my mother-in-law that paying for daycare is easily worth it versus having her watch our kids every day? So this is the story. My mother-in-law has never worked a traditional job and is very much ingrained into the belief that all moms should do the same. Thankfully, my wife feels differently or we wouldn't be together. We have a three-year-old and an 18-month-old. There's a great daycare near our home that they both go to Monday to Friday. It costs about 3 k a month total for the two of them and is honestly worth every penny to me. Our three-year-old seems very advanced for his age. They are teaching him Spanish writing and in addition to me seems very advanced for his age. The 18-month-old isn't quite as vocal, but she's at least counting to 10 in English and Spanish and knows all the basic animals. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. We love seeing the socialize. It's kind of like they're paying for a preschool almost. Yeah, like it seems like that's very... I don't need my three-year-old learning Spanish. I could care to learn it. At- Although that it would be, I wish I had learned when I was three because then I would. Know I guess it. that's when you're formative. That's your very formative years. Right. Yeah. Seems like a good time to do it. But I mean, yeah. I, if is I could that afford the responsibility? 3K? Like, I mean, fuck. if that's something that goes with the contract of spending three k, if they're like, okay, but I'll teach your kid Spanish and I'll do all these things. I guess if you have the money, you'll be like, sure, that seems better than just looking after them, putting them in front of the TV or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just putting on Blue's Clues and getting the fuck out yeah. of there. Yeah. But anyway, um, whatever. Still three k a month. Good God. Yeah. Childcare is brutal. And so anyways, it goes on. So my mother-in-law and father-in-law recently downsized their home and to chagrin moved to a condo very close to us and to our chagrin moved to a con- uh, condo very close to us. They were previously about 90 minutes away. Since moving, my mother-in-law has been trying to convince us to let her watch the kids instead of sending them to daycare. At first, she said she'd happily do it for half the cost just to use it as fun money. And now she's offering to do it for free. Neither my wife or I are interested in this, but my wife is worse at standing up to her and tries to avoid the conflict. The other day, she was going on about family values again and trying to say that I'm throwing money away every month that should be saved or put in a college fund. My wife told her we don't want this discussion again, and the mother-in-law said something to the effect of so you really think spending over 30 grand is worth your fancy daycare when you have family who will watch them i responded and said yes it's easily worth it i can't think of a better investment to be honest mother-in-law got pissy and left shortly after i haven't talked to her directly since but she's complaining about me to my wife who is now saying i was being too harsh was i being an asshole here what do we think <clears throat> i think the mother-in-law needs to fucking sit down I don't think he's being an asshole. I think that a lot of people like we don't know the circumstances, obviously, that are making them like I I thought there would be more information as to why they don't want the mom looking after their kid. Fair enough. Fair. Yeah. Like if there's no reason, why is it because the mom isn't going to teach him Spanish? Is that the only reason? Because that seems like one way to look at it. That's true. I I don't know. I don't know how much money they have. If they're millionaires, who gives a shit? Obviously, if he's no, he's I don't think money is an issue. Right. So he obviously doesn't care. Like he's spending what people pay rent on watching his kids. It's a decision how you raise your kids. You're not an asshole if you choose something. Exactly. If you're throwing away, it's not throwing away money if he believes that it's like worth the the cost to spend his own money. Right. It's not up to the mom to say how 
the, this will be done. exactly. However, I think the guy's crazy because like, what are you doing? Why are you not 30 grand? Like, like that's to put, put in perspective. That's probably like, if you thought you it was pay, like, car payments on an Alfa Romero. Yeah. But if you thought it wasn't safe, if you're like, no, I can't leave my kids with her. It, I just, it she is feel popping right. Xanax and drinking a bottle right. of wine as soon I as I leave. feel right. Yeah. I don't think she takes the same attention. Yeah. Not only is she not going to teach them Spanish, but she's going to teach them swear words. And, and get she's them. playing online poker and drinking right. two bottles a day because you she's retired. I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. maybe there's something we don't know. And that's, that's gotta be it. Yeah. It, it's also not really her, her business. But that's like, it. Yeah. Like it is, Bottom it is because they're family and they, and she can say, and she can offer. But once somebody says, no, thank you. And we have our reasons. You can discuss it respectfully as a family, but other than that, the bottom line comes down. Asshole. Yeah, you're yeah. just turning down. A, just being like, it's a my nice kids. Thing. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's yeah. a very generous offer. Yeah, and you're turning it down, and that's all. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, I agree. I think the yeah, basically, I think the mother-in-law should sit down, but. I guess, yeah, there's some information out of there. Like maybe they're, I don't know. If she, the wife was secretly like, come on, honey, we're dying here. Yeah. You, we got to like do so. Then he's kind of maybe being an asshole. If his kids are suffering or, or anybody is suffering because of this. Then, if they're going in like the red. Yes, you're yeah. being an asshole, but right. it's clearly not the case. Yeah. Right? I don't think money's an issue. No. So cool. Okay. So number two, am I the. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Am I the butthead? Oh, sorry. Am I the asshole for insisting on a child-free wedding? So here's the story. Mm. Oh, this is a hard one, man. People really don't like this. I know. Oh, man. We're having a 50-person wedding in April 2024 at a venue we've fallen in love with. The venue doesn't have any good area to say, take a crying baby during the ceremony. We don't have many friends and family with kids, but for the ones that do, we're offering to pay for an off-site nanny service in our city. We have invited the kids for family photos before the ceremony and reception, and then the kids will go back to the hotel and be watched by a high-end nanny with background checks, bonded, etc. Okay, so there you go. You're not the asshole. E- e- you, yeah. you really took care of it. That's a lot. Yeah, that's... That's way doesn't, above and beyond. Yeah, you just You're like, not just even no asking kids. people to get a sitter. Yeah, just like, could you give it to your... Your Most parents? people are just asking to get a sitter. Like, yeah. Hey, we're not going to have kids at this one because you have to pay for every guest and meal. Kids aren't going to eat an entire friggin' thing of salmon or whatever canned the hell. Steak. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. An entire canned steak to himself. Yeah, they're not doing it. It's a that. waste. Yeah, it's you know? such a waste. Waste of a good Barnum and Levi's. Barnum and Levi's. Um, my fiance's sister, the maid of honor, is having a hard time with the arrangement. I, the groom, have been organizing the child care, but she won't reply to my emails, only texting her sister, the bride, about how nervous she is leaving her kids with a nanny ages four and six. Wait, the kids are four and six, not the nanny. That's good. <laughs> Background checks. Checks out. Yeah. Her usual child care is her mother, who is coming to the wedding too. The sister, to her credit, has not outright asked us to change venues or policy, but has fought us every step of the way on this and refusing to let us book the nanny until this or that. I heard secondhand she is complaining to their mother and wishes we could change venues for her or just allow kids, but she knows that would be unreasonable to ask. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so basically, long story short, we're paying for highest rated service in our city. Yeah, nope, they're just nope, going on into it. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah. Long story short, they're being very, very accommodating. I agree. I agree. Day, they're deciding how they want to do it. If you want to bring your screaming kid around, don't. They, they literally could just have in the invitation. Guess like, what? Your kid doesn't want to go that bad. Yeah, they don't give a shit. It's not your kid's missing out on yeah. something and oh my God, I'm leaving them with some stranger. It's like, this is a vetted nanny who yeah. does this for a living with a bunch of other kids. It's well accommodated. And those not people being a jerk. easily fucking be like in the RSVP. Just be like, hey, this is the wedding. Don't bring your kid. Thank you. Don't bring your kid or don't come. I was going to say, or you could just not, not come. Not come yeah. And then people can decide, am I the asshole for not going? Yeah. It's no, like, no, it's a choice. Yeah. It's fine. Like, yeah, you just did it. you did just it. the thing. Be an adult. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number three. Am I the asshole for saying I will not change my gift giving habits for this Christmas? So very recently, what are their <laughs> gift giving habits? I don't know. We'll see. Very recently, I had a conversation with my soon to be mother in law about mine and my fiance's Christmas plans. As per usual, she and I will be spending Christmas with her family. That is, her parents, her older brother, and his husband, and her younger sister. One thing that I've always found very lovely about her family is that they are all very keen about and good at it gift giving during the holidays, even well into everyone's adulthood. Yeah. And I am the same way. I absolutely love to get my fiance's lots of presents that she will absolutely love. And her family does the same thing. I make more money than her parents and siblings. I, and I do not have to pay for housing 
bearing property taxes, and I certainly like to splurge on my fiance. While I was talking to my soon-to-be mother-in-law, she mentioned that she and her husband were hoping that I would tone down Christmas this year. I didn't know what she meant, and she said that the number of gifts I get my fiance makes her and her husband feel a bit uncomfortable. I asked for clarity on what she was asking me to do, and she asked if I would give fewer gifts to my fiance on Christmas and keep the rest of what I wanted to get her for before or after we visited. That's a little fair. I don't know. I could... Um... Here, let's, there's a bit it's more. It's a weird competition it's, to put yourself in as a parent. I mean, you, should be you don't happy need to be that, whipping your dick out in front of everybody. Like, yeah. okay, we, and he's like talking, like, oh, no, I make a lot of money. Like, I make way more money than the parents. Like, he's even, uh, I was. Sounds a, like he is an asshole, but at the same time, you can't call him on this one, I don't think, because he's just buying stuff for other people. That he loves, yeah. That he loves. Those parents should be happy that <laughs> he's like spoiling their daughter. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, true, true. You know, they don't, they don't owe anything. Like, the thing, the difference is like, when you're a son-in-law, yeah. you're the one who owes the parents something. Yeah. You should take care of their daughter. That's the onus is on you. You're yeah. trying. You're the one who's asking for something here. The parents have given the fuck out of everything to that daughter. Yeah. So they don't. Oh, it's not like they need to still impress her. It's like, oh my god, you got her like a Gucci bag. Wow. Why didn't you get her a fucking understand. reusable Walmart bag, you jackass? Yeah. Like yeah. get her less stuff so that we look. Like, we're still giving her lots. It's like, she knows how much money your parents make. Yeah. She knows what's going on here. If you give less than this husband, that she's going to be like, oh, it's because he has a lot more money. It's not yeah. like she's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Does she not know what's going on here? Why do we have to, like, it's, pretend like there's different bank, not different bank accounts happening? It's true. That's very true. I don't true. think the parents have any reason to feel bad at all. That's what I think. I think he could buy as much as he wants to spend. The daughter doesn't care or shouldn't care. She should be happy she's getting showered with lots of gifts and not even require that, which she probably doesn't require. No, yeah. The parents don't need to feel guilty. They've yeah. already given lots and she's well taken care of. They shouldn't feel like anybody needs to tone anything. It gets down. a little. Uh, okay, so here, here, oh, sorry, did so I, okay. okay, we jumped the gun. I was a bit confused about what she wanted. So first I asked if she wanted me to get her, her husband and her fiance siblings more presents. She declined. I then asked if she would like me to give her and her husband some more money to get my fiance and her siblings more gifts. She declined that offer as well and seemed a bit irritated with that. After that, I asked if she wanted to write that some of the presents I got my fiance were from her and her husband. None of us actually signed the the from label, but my fiance, of course, knows the difference in our handwriting. She said that wouldn't be necessary and that she just wanted me to give my fiance some of her gifts before or after we after we visited them. I found this very irritating and unreasonable and told my soon-to-be mother-in-law my feelings. She then said that she and her husband felt guilty that she couldn't get my fiance and her siblings more gifts, so they didn't want to see the extent of what I will get her, but they don't want me to hold off on getting her all that. I will altogether. Okay, so you know what probably, I, there's the siblings to consider, right? Uh, so I wasn't thinking about that. So, so like this one girl's getting fucking spoiled to the things and then the parents are like, and yeah. And then everyone's well, sitting there sorry, afterwards Timmy, while Here's an girl, Xbox 360. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch, of, there's just a bunch of people like sitting around like, okay, and mom and dad gave another me this, one for this, Tiffany. And, this yeah. and there's 14 gifts for Tiffany. That yeah. looks stupid. Yeah. Uh, so blah, 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 blah. Uh, almost done. That guy needs to be a little sensitive. That's all he does, needs to do. There's actually like a footnote right at the end here. Uh, basically, it's going on like that. But the footnote is, I was diagnosed with Asperger's ages ago. In case that seems relevant, a few people mentioned that I should include this in the actual post itself. Right. So he's not necessarily being an asshole. He's just trying to figure out where these people are coming from. And they're being really subtle and not telling him exactly what he needs to do. Right. He's like, I just want you to tell me what it is that you want from me. And they're like, no, what I want from you to do is get the hint. Yeah. And people with Asperger's are not going to just get the hint. No. They're like, no, tell me what it is you want. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Just fucking be straight up with me. And that he's one of these guys. And unfortunately, I think a lot of those guys end up just coming off like assholes because they're like, I don't have the like. What is subtlety. wrong with me giving good stuff to people? I know. Yeah. I'm not reading between the lines yeah, here. You're right. Like, right. So, no, nope, not being an asshole. Fair enough. Um, and then we have one more uh, break. Because... We are going to run out of time here. So what's the, what's the break for this one? Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. Those, those rubber runners that you put over your, like go up over your knees, like rubber. not knee highs, but knee long runners, knee long, knee long rubber runners, rubber runners, they knee long rubber your, runners. They're, they're like those uh, exercise bands kind of like for when you're running. So you go for a jog and they provide a little bit of tension from your knee. It pulls on the back of your knee when you're running forwards, you try to run forwards and it provides resistance 
Like it's a sort of a, you can see someone running up the street. It's like, quick, 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 quick. buy, buy rubber runners. Oh, <laughs> like who is the company? I thought it was just rubber runners, rubber runners. Yeah. Rubber runners. Thank you. Rubber runners. Thank you. Rubber runners. We will run in your rubbers any Perfect. day of the week. We'll run in your rubbers any day. <laughs> Perfect. And we will be right back. Knee long rubber runners are the rubbers I choose to run in. I run every day in my knee longs and their patented warp resistant foot curve helps my metatarsus seductus to a splendor I choose not to live without. I can splish splash with my little nephew Barry Miller till the ducks and geese leave the pool. My name is Olympic runner Thomas Woolweed and I love knee long rubber runners. Use my code rub you long time to get 10% off your next pair. And remember, stay out of the shed. Wow. We will rub in your runners. We will rub your runners any day. Perfect. Uh, thank you, rubber runners. Um, I have one more. Uh, am I the asshole? And that's that's it. Okay, so here it is. Am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend that he has a long-term medical condition and I don't feel sorry for him? <laughs> am I the asshole for saying that my boyfriend has a long-term <laughs> medical condition? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> the, the word long was written very long. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway. I, yeah, sorry, I just had a bit of a, uh, a brain a daydream? fart. Daydream? Oh, yeah, daydream, anyway. yeah. yeah. Uh, so am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend that he has a long-term medical condition and I don't feel sorry for him? So I, female, 25. My boyfriend, male, 26. Have been in a relationship for four years now. My boyfriend has a thing where if anything interrupts his peace, then he gets very upset. For example, when we got our puppy, he was not used to having him around at first and gets upset that his home is no longer a place for him to relax after work because he bites his legs wanting to play. After a while, he does get accustomed to the new changes. Now he loves our dog. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking dick. Dude. It's fucking it's dogs a, pissing a, me off. It's a dog. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to relax right I'm now. trying to drink a beer, dog. I'm biting my knees. Yeah, fuck. I'm trying to drink a fucking paps, dog. Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend was dealing with an itch in his butt. What? Yeah, wait. And I took a look at it. A home, and it was like a bump next to his anus. What the fuck? Whoa. For context, I work in the emergency room, so I suggested that we should have a PA or doctor take a look at it. $350 down the drain later, and he was diagnosed with hemorrhoids. Gross. Okay. What in the crap kind of story was this? Yeah, wait. Yeah, that took a drastic hard right. This poor guy is just like, wait a minute, what? He's just stressing too hard that he's getting hemorrhoids. Uh, uh, Maybe, Uh, which is uncommon for someone that young. PA said that it will go away on its own. He has been dealing with the pain and itches while annoyed by them. It's getting better as days go on. A week later, I had to go to work and thanks, thank the PA for treating my boyfriend. The PA then tells me that he may have to deal with it for the rest of his life because hemorrhoids can occur at any time, but can be prevented if he eats more grains and drinks more water, which is perfect because he loves overnight oats, just started incorporating what them into in his the diet. What the fuck are we doing here, Dylan? And drinks plenty of water. I texted him this and he exploded. He got super mad. So it's it's a stressed out dude who's really pissed off, and now he has a hemorrhoid, and his 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 girlfriend's just trying to help him, and he's like getting mad at her. Okay, it's almost over. He said that I ruined his day because this hemorrhoid is messing with his peace. Said he, goddamn peace. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his peace. And it's how is that her fault? <laughs> said that he wasted three hundred and fifty dollars just to tell him this to eat water or eat fucking oats and drink water. I told him that There's it will be no fine. Magic cure, my guy. Yeah. Like, what do you want her to say? I told him that it will be fine and that he just needs to incorporate more fiber into his diet. He complains that I should have told him in the evening and not in the morning before he goes to work because he has to go through work with the news. He said that he has to rethink life over this. I don't I think, think it's a big this deal. This guy needs to go and rethink life in like a yeah or on a remote island He's somewhere. He's taking it away all from out on like people. The, she sounds like this a sweet lady. She's like a, a nurse or something yeah. that's just like trying to take care of his friggin' butt for him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he's being a butthead. Dude, why being such a butthead? I don't think it's a big deal because as a person who works in the ER and seems lots of worse case happen to people, my boyfriend having a hemorrhoid is not that serious, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I've never had it that I can't sympathize with him. I know he will be accustomed to these changes, but his comments towards me were hurtful. So am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend that he has to deal with his hemorrhoids long term? Oh, no, what the fuck? I hate this. I hate this a lot. I don't want to talk about this anymore. That it, guy's an idiot. Yeah. The lady's not an asshole, but she's also just like, why are you typing about this on the internet? Just get rid of this dude. Fucking 
uh, one of the comments under it is, I don't think your boyfriend has hemorrhoids. I think he is one. Nice. <laughs> wow. We've reached the bottom. <laughs> no pun. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how that, dra- well, it, it's like I said, I didn't read these over, but like. It, no, you didn't recreate that one. No, I didn't. Yeah. Like, you know what I have to read on a podcast? But it said, am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend that he has a long-term medical condition and I don't feel sorry for him? I thought it was going to be like. No, this is this was like you have cancer or something. I am mad at her for even putting this story yeah, here. I thought it was going to be something because like you. This have is to- way too long winded. Yeah. Why did we even hear about the peace and the dog and all this stupid shit, dude? The, what a she's trying to pay I want to yell spent. at this person. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, they deserve one another. Yeah, <laughs> they're both assholes. Literally, You're an asshole. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They both have assholes. Um. Anyways, that was a bad one to end on. Yeah. Cause I was going to be like, what, uh, who would tell their significant other that they have a fucking long-term medical condition and be like, deal with it. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Too much time spent. Yeah. 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 Time Moving well on. wasted. Well, I, one thing that we can be grateful for is the next one has to be better. The, the next, that's the last one. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's even better. Nailed it. Yeah. No, that was the last one. Am I the asshole? All right. Yeah. So it was, I don't know. Those are, those are kind of good. <laughs> Those are kind of good. Yeah. But I mean, three out of four were good. That last one was kind of a, a downer. gracious. Yeah. That last one's just a dweeb. That yeah. He's a dweeb. He's just a fucking dick. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean. And you know what's funny is that like, he's probably not even that bad or even like, he probably like said three things and she's just like, you know what he did? Yeah. Overacting. Yeah. Just yeah. I'm going to Reddit. Place. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh my God, you went to Reddit? Yeah. Sure. Why is my picture of my face beside it? <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend has hemorrhoids. Why is there a picture of the hemorrhoid yeah. too? Oh, he's gross. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. fuck you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Overreacting. Uh, who knows? I guess the internet. They're all assholes. They're all assholes. Literally. Literally. Yeah. That was literally a story about an asshole. Uh, that's kind of ironic. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Anyways, do you have any, uh, any final notes? The top 10 richest countries in the world. I was cool. Let's end on that. Curious. That's a way better way to end. <laughs> so the number one richest country is not China. No, know it's that. not. What I will do is I will read. Which way should I go? Should I go? I'll, I'll do the top 10. Yeah. And we'll start. What do you think the 10th one is? Uh, England. Uh, no, it's it's Canada. No way. Yeah. We are the poorest, brokest motherfuckers. Uh, there's a lot more than 10 countries in the world. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're not the richest in the world, but we're certainly doing pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh uh, hell yeah, we're on the list. Yeah, well, we're, right. we're, on, we're only on the list. <laughs> yeah. the Wait, ten- are you saying that Africa's ahead of us? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Africa is a country, though. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Yeah. So I feel ridiculous because the next one underneath, I don't even know where it is. It's Kazakhstan. It's lo- located close to Malaysia. It's called Brunei. Jerusalem. I've never heard of that country called Brunei, Br- Brunei or Brunei Jerusalem. Brunei Jerusalem. <laughs> you didn't uh, even say it right. Uh, da- Darus- Barnanum and Levi. Yes. Holy crap. So it's crazy to me that I'm this dumb. Like I've been on this earth. How long? I still countries that I don't even know. What hey man, I thought called. Dubai was a country, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one, uh, the eighth, I believe there. Yeah. Would be a Germany. Nice. After that, we have the country that Dubai is in. Afghanistan. The, no, you don't. You think that that's one of the richest <laughs> places, hey? <laughs> Could be. <coughs> anyway, the United Arab Emirates. Oh. Uh, right. Yes, you've heard of that. Uh, Ar- Arab. The what? United Arab Emirates. And Singapore. Then Luxembourg. Do you know where Luxembourg is? I thought that was in Germany. Why does it say the wealthiest country in the world? Luxembourg. That's dumb. By some standard, it must be the richest. Luxembourg? Know. Luxembourg. Is that not uh, Europe? It's in Europe. Yeah. yeah. Europe's a big place, though. Yeah. I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know where Luxembourg is. Hmm. I feel dumb about that one, too. But that's like the fifth richest country in the world. Cool. The fourth richest being... Fuck, man. Yeah. Norway. Norway is our next Thank one. You. The Thank fourth you. one. Norway. And then the third richest country is a country that chooses no sides. Famously. Uh, the Berlin Wall. They definitely choose sides. <laughs> 
They choose sides so hard that their middle of their country has two oh. sides. No, what? Oh, you, you, you fence sitting pansies. Uh, <laughs> You're not supposed to. Uh, yeah. What do you do? You're just yelling obscenities at <laughs> entire countries at this point. I think that was on the 70s show. Uh, 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 oh. uh, uh, Dutch. Ah, uh, they're like the Dutch. Nope. There's probably Dutch people there though. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Be like Switzerland, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, I knew that. And then the second richest That's is. That's crazy. Switzerland is third? Yep. Holy shit. The second richest is uh, Qatar, which is one of the Arab countries. I actually yeah. don't know exactly where Qatar is, but obviously oil is worth a lot of money. Yeah. And followed by number one, which is obviously not China, it's the States. That's right. The US of A. That's crazy. Yeah. So What's the go. deficit? What? What's like their fucking what do they owe? Because yeah. isn't the states like like trillions of dollars in debt? Yeah, but people owe it's hard to calculate wealth, right? Because people owe the country. So like they're in debt, but like to themselves and stuff and to other countries. And but then they have if they suddenly say, no, we're not, we're at war and we don't owe you a shit anymore. Is that, what's that? Yeah. You know, we've got all these missiles. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, just, yeah. It's like, do we owe you? Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you have fleets of jets and like a military that surpasses everybody in the entire world, you know, just, just their military budget, despite it being in debt, they still have aircraft carriers that are ready to go. They still are fueled. Yeah. They still have. Most of their cities have skyscrapers and plumbing and blah, 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 down, the, you know, to everything, to the craziest nth degree. Like, so I think the industry they have there is, and the people, just the raw amount of people, they've got 350 million people or whatever. I think that list is like richest countries on paper. I honestly think Dubai is like off the books richest. You think so? Yeah. Why do you think? Because I think it's like Dubai, like, Oil for one, but it's it's like a lot of dirty business. Like how about how about Putin, Russia? Yeah, but it's just but we're not talking about individuals, right? Like that's not Russia's wealth. He's like, but he, it is. I mean, it isn't. But I mean, it is. Putin is basically got it all if he wants, right? Yeah, but, it, but it's also like, is that Russia's? Technically, maybe. Like, would it be included in this? You know, if it's in private bank accounts, I think that there's so many more. Wait, was Russia, Russia wasn't even on the list? No. So we're in, richer than Russia. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, no, well, like, like, and I, uh, I got to censor this, but like, so, S so E X rings. Yeah, I guess I could say that and stuff shit like that. Like, I think there's trafficking a, rings, trafficking, stuff, human yeah. trafficking. Yeah, that, uh, that that's the stuff I don't fucking spell out. I don't Anyways, think that they're including that kind of like dark wealth. You that's know, what like I think Dubai. Bu- yeah, I think like all that sort of dark shit. Yeah, there's a lot of Dubai bill- is like number one. Yeah, like, I don't know if they're calculating the amount of billionaires. In yeah, because country, right? Like, oh, I don't know they're, if that's talking, what they're talking. Oh, yeah, about. no, that's what I'm thinking of. Countries I'm wealth. talking about like, yeah, entrepreneurs. Like how much they can spend on a new park or a new. Right, right, right. I am definitely thinking of individual rather than the country. Yep. R- right. How much they, how much lumber they can. The buy. richest people in the world are from Dubai, is what I think. Oh, individuals, yeah. Yes, like that's the, what I mean. The richest, pri- like the, I bet you the most private wealth exists yeah. in, in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Yeah, yeah. Dubai is a city. Dubai, yeah. Yeah, not a country, but a city. Right, right, right. Yeah, anyway, yeah, the Emirates. just because yes. it is important, the United Arab Emirates. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, on, below that we have. Uh, do, do, do we have Canada was the 10th there. That was the, the lowest one. So, so below us now go is it, it, number 11 would be France. Ah. And then we have, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, uh, the next one after the, they're also like tiny compared to our, well, look at our, the size of our country. Yeah, it's true. Right. Like yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So. We should be doing, it's all raw resources out there and stuff, right? What yeah, isn't doing? it like 60%? We give, we give so much of our shit away. Like we just give away soft Yeah, Canada is just, we're started. so good. Yeah, we're yeah, great. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. We're not, we're not very good at making money of ourselves. <laughs> we're good at giving money away. Big pushovers. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, France. And then we have United Kingdom, your boys after that. There you go. Right? UK, I love the UK. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Australia. Ah, good day, mate. Kuwait. Foster's ain't doing it. Yeah. And then Kuwait. Kuwait, yep. Which, you know, oil money. And then yep. China. That's where we have China. Wow. And then the Netherlands, which look at the size of the Netherlands compared to China. They're just right underneath them. 
It was crazy. Holy shit. Think how wealthy the Netherlands China's is. number 15? Yeah, I guess if we're counting now, yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. That blows but, my mind. But then again, it's another case of what are they saying? You know how many individuals there are billionaires, right? So do we And their know population much- is like quadruple oh, ours. No, ours is. So like, think about this. There's over a billion people there that are, that they, that they admit to. In China. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And now in India as well, over a billion. So yeah. think of the states, roughly 350 million. That's like, you know, just over a third, a, a third, just yeah. over a third, right? Canada, one tenth of that, 40 million people. That's nuts. Aren't Nothing. we bigger than the states? Yeah, physically. Like, yeah. Like the ge- ge- Geogra- ge- yeah, geographically yeah. Land, land we are. Yeah. yeah. So- that's crazy just to think how spaced out we are compared to the people in the States. We got stacked breathing up room. on each other. Yeah. Right. And then in China is even smaller than that by quite a lot. Right. So they're stacked up even more on everybody. Everybody else is in cities. Right. Yeah. Think how many people are forced into cities, whereas lots of people don't live in the city here. Right? So it's just it's just trippy to think of one billion people. Yeah. They're all when crammed into little fucking already, tuna can houses. Yeah. You can go to places in Canada all over the place that are crowded as hell. But you yeah. can also go tons of places and see nobody. Yeah. Whereas in those countries, I don't think you can. Go Fucking, places and see no. I love Canada. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky to have. Feel this. claustrophobic anywhere else. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we're 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 rambling at this point, but uh, just wanted to uh, check in with y'all. Hope you're having a really good week. Kidding. So we learned a lot. We had some good laughs. People are assholes. Um, some more than others. Just want to put another big thank you to everybody who's been listening along with us and enjoying themselves. Heck yeah. Um, your support means everything. And the fact that you're listening in makes me very happy. So me too. Thank you very much. It keeps us coming back and chatting with y'all. And if your mom says come down for pancakes, don't go. Unless your other mom says it's all good. Yeah. If your other mom says it's all good, then go. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, sweetie. I heard it too. She says. <laughs> You first. Yeah. <laughs> you and go if first. you're going down there, make sure you get yourself some Butterfields, butter, bacon, butter, smoothie pancakes. That's right. Butter, bacon, butter, smoothie pancakes. Get yourself a canned steak from Barnum and Levi's. Levi's and, and some rubber dubbers. Some rubber runners. Rubber runners. Uh, wash down rubber runners on the way over to some Gad's Holy Lemons. That's right. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Love you guys. Peace out. Peace.